What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So today I've got my hands on the latest Z-Blaze Thor 4 Pro. So here is another exciting full Android smartwatch by the amazing Z-Blaze. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, a magnetic USB charger, and last but not least, the smartwatch itself. So here it is guys, the Z-Blaze Thor 4 Pro. Now I love the design and build quality. The watch body itself is made from metal, it's zinc alloy, and gives quite a professional look. So you have a 1.6 inch LTPS crystal display with a screen resolution of 320 by 320 and Gorilla Glass 3 protection. Now you're running the MediaTek 6739 quad core CPU with one gig of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Now there is Bluetooth version 4, GPS, Wi-Fi. You do have a 4G LTE nano SIM slot on the back and this is running full Android version 7.1.1 with a 600 milliamp battery which promises around one day of normal use. Furthermore there is no IP certification and the straps themselves are not removable so you cannot remove the straps. Now the watch dimensions it's 46 millimeters in diameter with a thickness of 15 millimeters and this watch weighs 72.3 grams in weight. Now the watch straps are 273 millimeters in length and 21 millimeters in width. Now the straps themselves are actually a very nice hybrid leather straps. So the inside are made from silicon and the outside is made from leather. And the watch does feel quite comfortable to wear. It's a nice large screen, but doesn't feel very heavy. Now to give you an idea of the size of this watch, I will bring in my daily driver, the Samsung Galaxy watch. So here they are side by side. This is how they fare. Now both watches are 46 millimeters in diameter. However, the actual screen on the Samsung is 1.3 inches and the Z-Blaze is 1.6 inches with very slim bezels. So you have a much larger screen on the Z-Blaze and this is how the straps look. Now on the side of the watch, we have a power button, a five megapixel camera and a back button. And on the other side, there is nothing and the bottom of the watch, we have our heart rate sensor, a flap, which you can quite simply remove to give you that nano SIM card slot. And this does support 4G nano SIM cards. And on the top, we have our charger pins. And here is the charger cable. And I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration. So it's a magnetic connection. It's, it's not the most solid connection that you can get, but I suppose it does the job. The good thing is you can fully charge that internal 600 milliamp battery from zero to 100 in just under 70 minutes. So it charges up pretty quick. So here is the default watch face that Z-Blaze are giving you with this watch. And I have to say it's totally different than the usual Z-Blaze watch faces. I do like the look of this watch face. And as usual, to change the watch face, you keep the center press for two seconds, and then you'll be presented with a whole range of different watch faces that you can instantly change to. So now I'll give you a few examples of the selection of watch faces available on this watch. So it's quite interesting to see that you can actually use the watch camera to make your own watch face. So we just make one very briefly. There we go. There we go. We just made our own watch face with the camera. So when you get to the end of the list, you will see a plus sign which you can tap and gain access to a whole library of free downloadable watch faces. And any one of these watch faces can be downloaded and installed in seconds.
So let's quickly go through the watch features. Now if we swipe down from the top, you got your information for your battery, SIM card and Bluetooth connection. Now if we swipe to the left, you got your quick toggles for brightness, Bluetooth, airplane mode, etc. If we swipe again, you've got your memory clean. If we keep going, you've got your music. So you can load up your MP3s directly into the internal storage. And then you'll be able to play your music collection directly on the watch speaker or Bluetooth headset. If we swipe again, you've got your weather information, which I'm going to tap and that will immediately update. There you go. Now let's go back. Now if we swipe upwards, you've got your health information. So this will give you a seven day report on your steps. If we swipe to the right, you've got your step counter, your distance traveled and your calories burnt. Now let's go back. If we swipe to the right, you've got your notifications. And if we swipe to the left, you've got all of your apps. So let's quickly go through the apps. You've got contacts, phone, messaging, settings, browser, downloads, calendar, clock, camera, gallery, music, sound recorder, file manager, heart rate monitor, fitness, weather, voice search, Play Store, and you do have the full version of the Google Play Store. You've got the full version of Google Maps and you've got assistant so you can switch OS's, connect to your phone, remote capture, music control, etc. If we go back, you've actually got their own app store. So if we open it, it will give you some popular apps that you can immediately start downloading. And again, these are full versions of YouTube, WhatsApp, Twitter, and Facebook. So I just tested out Bluetooth phone calls and this watch does not support phone calls via Bluetooth. You do need to insert a SIM card to use the phone feature. So now we're going to check out the camera. We have a five megapixel camera on the side. So we are going to check out the quality. I would leave a few samples for you on the screen right now. Here is a quick video of my hand and we're going to see what the audio and video sound like. I think Vector's in a bad mood today. It looks like he's in a bad mood. Hey Vector, are you okay today? <laughs> so I just downloaded some full Android apps that we will use to test the performance of this watch. So let's begin with YouTube. So anti to benchmark is not compatible with this watch. So in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 37 megabits per second and upload speeds of nine megabits per second. Now the screen on hand raising feature does work, but you get a two second delay before the screen actually turns on. Now, if we compare this to another smartwatch, say the Samsung Galaxy watch, you will see how instantly the screen turns on. So I hope Zblaze can speed up this feature via a firmware update or something to think about in future updates or future watches. We need the screen to turn on a little faster on the hand raise feature. So next up, I ran a 30 minute on screen test with Wi-Fi on, brightness set to medium and everything else is off. And after 30 minutes, we ended up with a 91% battery. That is a 9% drop and translates to six hours of on-screen time. So basically this watch will give you around six hours of on-screen time. So there you have it guys. That was the Z Blaze Thor 4 Pro. 
So here are my thoughts on this full Android smartwatch. Now the watch looks very nicely designed. You have a large 1.6 inch screen, but they managed to keep it within 46 millimeter diameter with very thin bezels. So overall, great design and I love that LTPS screen. Now I've always liked hybrid straps where you have leather on the outside and silicone on the inside. Now the leather is not genuine leather, but nevertheless, a very comfortable strap included. Now Android 7.1 is smooth and fast in operation. Battery life can get you through the day, depending on usage or heavy usage, four to six hours. And I must add, watching videos and playing games on any smartwatch will certainly consume the battery a lot quicker. But for normal use, you can easily get through the day and the battery charges up pretty quick. Now the screen on hand raise feature does work, but it was rather slow with a two second delay. Now this watch is not waterproof and you cannot remove the watch straps. So that brings us to the top smartwatch chart for 2019 and the Z-Blaze Thor 4 Pro has achieved an 8.2 out of 10 and therefore ranks number eight on this chart. Bottom line, you have power, performance, lots of features, with a great interface and a decent LTPS display. You have excellent cellular capabilities and with a few improvements in the firmware, I would expect this watch to perform even better. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.